Hello everyone, now we are slicing again today in T11 and we start with the king, 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 tailwind and normally yes, the a pop is maybe the, be the best slicing, one of the best slicing clubs in the game but even here the a pop with a P1 ball is way too long so I do always a little trick for me which works out very nice. Uh, I set up for my rock, for my rock nine, with the epoch uh, with nineteen rings. And you see, I pulled back uh, until the one yard line, so it's six yards uh, pull back. And now you see why. So the slice, oh, it's a hook. Sorry, the hook is uh, perfect. Uh, if I hadn't uh, pulled back. I clip the rough and on, on this hole I always pull back a little bit but it's a nice distance and an easy second shot but I missed the LB. This is a very interesting one. Um, here you have two ways to do a slice. Uh, again it's a hook and you can take a P1 ball um, with six topspin or um, on this uh, high wind you can take a katana um, as well uh, with three left spin um, because you will see why uh, if, I, if you take a titan on this high level wind then you're in the rough so a titan maybe with 7.8 tailwind or until 8 or maybe 9 tailwind you can take the titan everything else I would recommend to go with a p1 ball or a P2 ball with more side spin like the katana. Every other ball would be in the rough, and even if you take the full top spin, you get a higher push with this one side spin to the to the right side, and you would be in rough as well. And if you have more um, wind, then you will fly over the green. And here I decided to change my tactics. Normally I play it as a, as a slice and now I decided to go for a hook. Um, because what's nice, if you pull uphill, um, you, you gain distance. And I pull with a hook on the right side, so I gain a lot of distance. A lot of distance, but I gain a little bit distance. Um, I take my 20 rings and I make it as a counter slice. Due to pulling up, I should take 21 to 22 rings and maybe just a bit more counter curl. Um, but the landing spot is uh, almost perfect. A little bit to the right would be nice. So see the little bit more counter curl or one ring uh, to the right would be um, even better because then the second bounce is on, the, on this little fairway one. But I figured out that a, a hook here is much, much better, or way better than a slice. So now you see the same hole like we had before where I took the, the P1 ball. Now we have a right to left tailwind. And with this wind I can go for a titan and two left spin. Um, under 10 you can stay with the full top spin. Over 10, I would go down to maybe 5 or 6 top spin. Depends on the wind strength. And again, here I go always a little bit more rings. I don't go 20 rings, I go like 22 to 23 rings. Um, because on this hole, I always needed more rings. I clipped so many times, barely the rough. You see, it's beauty. On this little bit lower wind, uh, I could take one top spin more, maybe a half. We do have, oh no, this is just the shooter. Uh, this is nice as well. Uh, didn't went too well in the end. Um, if I do, I'd go always here with uh, five top spin. And now I have no clear tailwind. Uh, so I went to the APOC and I go for the wind over here. Then I take my 
20 oh it took a little bit less my 20 rings and then i took my counter curl a little bit more counter curl would be nice but then i stay with five top spin or add some side spin to it and you see it's bouncing beautiful over there and with a little bit more counter curl we wouldn't clip the, the rough um, but I was very lucky on, on this one due to we had a perfect um, headwind on the what was the tailwind a headwind on the second shot and this is something I do like because then the the setup is much easier you just pull for the, the wind and if you don't pull correct then you're in as well you just need to hit perfect and there's the eagle oh yes we have one left 12 miles an hour uh, tailwind uh, is perfect on this one uh, decided to go with my epoch epoch 6 uh, full top spin and uh, do the right spin on it and here is uh, perfect as well because when the wind is like this then you go more to the right side and you pull again you see you pull uphill and again pulling uphill gives you a lot of distance extra uh, no curl uh, counter curl wasn't needed but uh, i think um, but i guessed for the counter curl and you see Uh, and you with the Titan in a wedge range. So this was my T11 slicing. Thanks everyone for watching and enjoy your game and go to lower tours and uh, do some experiments with slicing and enjoy the game.